Hey guys, Armand Gun here today with your daily dose of gun education. However, today we're not talking about guns, we're talking about pants. Yes, freaking pants. The best pair of pants I've ever had, the last pair of pants you'll ever need, and or the pants that changed my freaking life. Or some other title that I decided to eventually go with. Guys, these are incredible. I've been meaning to make this video for a very long time. No, it's not sponsored, but a long time ago from a country far, far away, UF Pro in Slovenia agreed to send me some pants when I asked them for some pants. That day was October of 2020, I believe. So a good while along, back when this channel had but a few thousand subscribers. And guys, in the approximately 500 days since that date, I've worn this pair approximately 250 times. These two pairs filled in some of the slack and these shorts whenever I wasn't living in an everlasting winter in fear of freezing off my leg hair. Now guys, if you are anything like me, you are a cheap son of a bitch when it comes to paying for anything other than the guns. Now you may look around and think that I'm pretty well to do, but uh, I assure you, while others have stocks and bullying and Bitcoin, I prefer to invest in the less precious of metals. Stamped steel, milled aluminum, copper washed lead and little brass capsules. That's definitely my jam. And uh, what you see before you is basically seven years of 90% uh, of my disposable income. And I couldn't be happier. It also allows me to do everything I do on this channel and uh, the whole gun education thing, which is honestly a lot of fun. But I like gear too. And as you can see, flannel quite clearly. I have a penchant for kit bags, but when it comes to pants, Pants I've often overlooked. While it wouldn't be out of the norm to spend 100 or 200 bucks on a nice jacket that I would wear 10 times a year at most, spending that much on pants just, I wouldn't do. And that is poor logic to stand on. Pun, because unlike undies and shirts that we pretty much change out every day, pants we can wear time and time again. And honestly, a good pair of pants can make up the backbone of your wardrobe. Anyways, that tangent is just to say that I don't like spending money on pants. For me, it was the $20 Costco cargo pants specials, and I went through dozens of those. If you know what I'm talking about, you know, a dozen or two wears and you blew out the crotch. I don't know what was wrong with those pants, but just every freaking time, but I digress. While I was too cheap to spend on these terrific trousers at the time and instead leveraged my social media to get, well, a couple freebies, I dare say, I'm now a changed man. I would now spend the approximately 200 bucks that uh, a pair of these slacks will set you back. And I'm not here to sell you on anything. I have no dog in this fight. I would, again, literally pay for these. I will probably undoubtedly still ask these guys for some more free stuff because they have new stuff coming out and it looks friggin' awesome. But I'm simply here to share the life-changing impact these have had on my everyday life. Because I care about you and life is too short to wear shitty pants. So the way this video is gonna go is I'm just gonna explain what I use these pants every day for and all the cool stuff over the years, year and a half, whatever, that I've used these for because it is included traveling everyday life, hiking, camping, working on my knees for two separate weeks on concrete, training, snowboarding, driving, and has revolutionized the way I do my EDC. Also, I can, I mean, maybe UF Pro wants these back. I don't know if anyone else has worn a pair of pants as much as I have. They made these things for military and law enforcement use. This is more or less their civilian line. Uh, these are the P40 All Terrains. But I would hazard a guess these might be the, one of the most worn pairs that are out there. And honestly, they've held up incredibly, incredibly well. Even my two separate weeks on concrete, um, the knees are holding up super well. And I had gotten permanent marker all over one of them as well. And uh, it is just worn off. The only other notable wear is uh, right in the butt. And that's just some of the stitching has literally worn out, but they use multiple rows of stitching. So even though that it's partially gone, I still have a nice intact butt. And the crotch, which is usually the very first to go, is still very intact. By the way, UF Pro has an awesome YouTube channel where they go over a lot of the details of the clothing. This stuff is highly technical and their chief creative designer, his name is Armin, which is pretty cool because it's pretty close to mine. I kind of have a feeling that he's probably an owner as well. He is a super technical clothing nerd and I love it. I find his videos super interesting and I've watched a ton of them on a lot of their gear. It's helped me better understand and appreciate everything that goes into these. Like the stretchy material on the butt so that they actually conform to your butt and don't just sag out after an hour of wearing them. 
Armin understands that you're gonna move in your clothing and your clothing should move with you, not restrict you and then just stretch and sag in spite of it. All right, so I was originally gonna do this on the tabletop, but I felt it was getting a little bit awkward with me jostling these pants around and I don't think you could appreciate fully how all this works. So instead, enjoy staring at my crotch for the next five minutes. <laughs> Guys, first of all, I have to say these pockets make these pants for me. These pockets and these pockets, they're mirrored. I love them. I call these like my admin pockets and these are like my utility pockets because out of the 250 days I've worn these things, I've had a knife and a light in these two right here probably about two thirds of the time. And they're holding up remarkably well. These little reinforced lips right here, can't even tell, no wear. And there's no wear on this fabric from having the imprint of the silhouette of these, you know, constantly. Now sure, you have pants with pockets, you put stuff in there, like, just because you have pockets doesn't mean you have to put something in them. Well, I had these two pockets, so I just started putting this stuff in pretty early on, and I have to say, rarely does a day go by where I don't use both the knife and the flashlight. I'm guilty of being one of those guys that was like, I have an iPhone, it has a flashlight on it, that's good. Let me tell you, once you get used to this thing, which is super bright, thousand lumen, and this is just a little surefire stiletto. I love it, it's flat, thin profile, and it fits right in this pocket. This pocket was made for this light, love it. Honestly, after using this, the light on the iPhone just seems useless. Anyways, that's these two pockets. They've held up phenomenally, I use them all the time. And most of their pants or shorts incorporate these two utility pockets somewhere. When I got their shorts, I put them on, and to my great dismay, they did not have the pockets here because they incorporated these cooling vents into, uh, into these guys, which actually make a difference. So they moved the pockets over here, which I think I actually like better. It gets this stuff off your, kind of the front of your leg area and puts it off to the side where you notice it less. So you know what, in the end, it's a good thing. Now these utility pockets though, again, these, these are finally cargo pants that feel like the pockets came first and they had pants built around them. You don't realize that these pockets are here. They're very useful, they hold a ton of stuff, but in their design, construction, they just, they hold it. They hold it close to your body and you can run with gear in these pockets without it feeling like extra appendages flopping around your legs as you're going. Again, if you're familiar with the Costco cargo specials and probably most other cargo pants for that matter, you should know what I'm talking about. Those are pants with pockets on them. These are like pants with pockets in them. Hard to describe, but again, you can just look like these are full cargo pants pockets and they're just flush fit into here. I got stuff in here, slight bulge, but there's other stuff they do inside that helps really contain everything. So in here I have my AirPods case. Very useful, my wife got these for my birthday last year. And I swear, I used to make fun of dudes with little Bluetooth headphones that were super dumb. Then I got some and put my foot in my mouth because game changer. And then also this little guy. And for those of you guys out there still carrying wallets, I've had this thing for like 10 years. It is, it's the future, it's the present, it's the past. Get with the times and ditch a wallet. So much better, do not miss a wallet at all. And the reason these are so great is because inside the pocket, which you probably can't see very well, there are two sub pockets that also just so happen to fit magazines. So this is why I wear these pants when I'm training. Here's a mag, it's in my pocket, zipped up, wouldn't even know it's there. You know what? I can fit another one right in there. Now, 230 round mags, that's gonna be a little heavy, but look, at, they're in there. They're pretty well concealed. I can run with this. This keeps them nice and tucked to my body, and I have room for two more right here. They also have these little side pockets right here. These are awesome if masks are mandated in your area. These are nice to tuck one of those little guys in, or I usually keep my phone in here. If you don't have a massive, small tablet-sized phone like I do, you can also fit a phone in here. Pants come with little retention straps that Velcro in here as well. If you have a phone you don't want to fall, you can do that as well. Now, if you're sitting or driving, they have these little access patches in here. Access is the same pocket, and actually here you can see that little pocket inside, the internal pocket. But you can just access things like this, which is all super handy for driving. That's a nice spot to just tuck your phone. Nice, easy access, and it's just, well, no officer, of course that's not my phone in my pocket. I'm just happy you pulled me over, said no one ever. Also with literally thousands of opens and closes, I've had zero problem with any of the zippers on this pants anywhere. Generous main pockets that are still well tucked into the body and there's a little tiny pouch that's zippered up in here. And I like to keep little things like key cards or fobs or just keys in there. Very handy. Lanyard loop here, doubled up belt buckles. And also an awesome feature are these zip sections for your knees. They're vented, so you can actually use these things as pseudo vents. 
I did that, which I'll explain soon in a very cool little application, but these are also meant for throwing in knee pads. Now, some of the pants like the Stryker HTs have built-in knee pads, but you can also supplement them with these. And these themselves are dual layer. You got the nice gelatin, soft, gushy stuff, and then you've got these harder panels that can uh, go in front. Now, these just stuff right on in there. Zip them up and you are ready to take on concrete floors. Again, on two separate occasions, I found myself with my work on the concrete floors, working up and down most of the day. And in one case, I biffed it. I tripped on something while carrying something rather heavy. This knee went straight down into the concrete and I bounced right up. My knee was completely fine. I bumped my knee harder on table legs. Uh, I was super amazed. That would have been a day ender uh, had <laughs> that happened without this pad. And again, despite that, there's very minimal wear of any sort on the knees of both of these knees. They're awesome. As I explained, I live in the land of the everlasting winter and they make a Gore-Tex liner as well. Windproof and keeps you warm as well. These pants have them already in. They just zip in around the uh, waistband on the inside here. They're, they're really good. They, again, I've taken these things and used them as snowboarding pants. Super comfortable, super durable, water resistant, and the windproof nature of this liner, it was, it was awesome. And when I went snowboarding, I went snowboarding properly in the Canadian Rockies, so you can be sure it was nipply. But when you're absolutely shredding all afternoon, sometimes you get a little warm. When you get warm on the hill, I found this was freaking awesome. These guys here have their groin coolers. Freaking amazing. I actually love this, and uh, they got the knee vents as well. And another story from the Happy Honeymoon Travels. I got this kit bag from uh, Hill People Gear after seeing 1911 Syndicate's video on this very bag. Fell in love with it, knew I had to have it, and desperately wanted to get one in before we flew off to Ireland. I was so excited about this bag, I just wanted to find every excuse possible to wear it. <laughs> Much to my wife's dismay, because you know, we're on our honeymoon, like going around nice places in Ireland, and I'm here running around with this thing, or at least wanting to. Anyways, here my day came. I thought I was finally gonna get to do this. It was a bus trip through Northern Ireland. Giants Causeway, all that good stuff. I thought, yes, I'm gonna be gone from my rental car for a whole day, which was like my home base. By the way, people say driving in Ireland is scary. Freaking best part of the trip. I swear the country roads there and the high speed, 80 kilometers an hour on their little country back roads, it's like a dare. And you actually feel a sense of accomplishment if you can hit that speed limit and maintain it for any type of period of time. Wild, loved it. Felt like rally car racing. I digress. On the bus trip, I thought, yes, I'm gonna wear this, it's gonna be my thing for the day. I'm gonna... I had two phones with me at that point because I was editing on one and my other one was my work phone. Had room for snacks, had like my passport, all the other good stuff in there. Even had room for a power bank and a charger. I was ready for anything. But then took a look at my old trousers and realized very quickly that both phones, my wallet, my headphones, snacks, and literally everything I needed for this trip already fit comfortably in my pants. And if I was to take this, it was literally just to bring a power bank and a spare charger with me, which, why? I didn't need to do that. I was, after all, on a sightseeing trip and I should be enjoying that, so I let this go. Woe was me that day. But again, it reinforced that when you have pants like this, these pants, built-in kit bags, amazing. They're comfortable and according to my wife, I wasn't gonna look like a fool, so <laughs> she would agree to sit next to me on the bus. Well, then we get back to the Aaron Islands day trip and I did take this with me. And I'm so glad I did because this was my best friend all day. Because I was cycling. And when you're cycling, dealing with like phone stuff, like that's that zipped away in here and I don't really, you know, we were actually busting a move. I think we averaged like 20 to 20, 25 miles an hour that day when, when we were biking. So that's a little bit sketchy to be like fumbling around with the phone to take a quick picture or video of the very cool landscape. But this, well, I tell you, zip, phone fits right nicely in uh, in here. Unzip this, pull it out, snap, snap, vid, vid, back, zip, done. This was amazing. We were on our bikes for hours that day, and uh, this was just so handy to have everything right up here and awesome. It's also really awesome in the airport as well. So that was really a super nice application for this. I'm actually getting my motorbike license soon here too, and I think this is gonna be great for that application as well. Now these are more so built for hiking and things like that, but the true intention is to inconspicuously carry the Spanish Schnell Tour. Lol, kind of, but, well. But actually though, this whole back compartment is meant to be a concealed carry unit, even the way the zippers, it's nicely concealed. These do actually use phenomenal zippers. Really dig the zippers. But uh, yeah, just so happens to fit this Astro Model F, which is a very cool broom handle derivative. 
Do you know what this is? You just might be a gun nerd. But it's very cool, we'll talk more about this beautiful unit soon, courtesy of Marstar Canada. Big thanks to them. End of the day, this is still a firearms channel. I gotta, I gotta get a firearm in here, right? These guys, super nice people, will help me get this thing last minute. Awesome. Love the product. Had not such a great customer experience recently with them. They definitely did something that really pissed me off and I let them know and they have yet to do anything about it, but uh, well, we'll see. Still, love the gear. And it's funny how that can happen. You can uh, start off as a gun junkie. Well, worse things have happened to uh, this camera. As I was saying, it's funny how you can start off as a gun nut and that quickly expands into kit, gear, clothing, all the paraphernalia and accoutrements. Accoutrements, that's a fun word that I first heard from, I think, Ian, Forgotten Weapons. That's a cool dude too. He definitely got into hats and writing books, so that's great for him. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed my ramblings and adventures with UF Pro Cargo Pants. 10 of 10 would ask them for free samples again. With the caveat that I would now be willing to uh, pay for these myself, despite being a frugal AF gun enthusiast. Because pants you will wear every single freaking day. These are the admin assistants to my EDC and man, uh, you look great, you feel great. I can't even imagine. Like these, these pants wear you, all right? UF Pro, these pants will abduct your legs and you will love it. And again, guys, I just want to be really clear. This is not some shameless product placement. Kilo Tactical. I just really, really Dixon Flannel Co. <laughs> really, now I'm just having fun, but really like this product. Definitely stand beside it just like I stand in it because these truly have been the pants that take a kicking, but keep on kicking. Marstar. Now, before I say anything else weird or cringe, we'll end the video. Stay tuned for the next one. Armored gun, out. Boom diggity. Bonus content. I'm in the airport, I was flying while editing this video and spilled half a glass of red wine right on my crotch. The pants literally drank it. I dabbed up what I could with napkins, but literally this is a half an hour later. They're dry, there's no stain. I love these pants. Also jealous because they drank more of my wine than I did.